Hey y'all, what's good? Welcome back to the mother freaking channel. It's spooky season. I'm getting into my second spooky look. And you guys asked me for a Sanrio Hello Kitty spooky design. So that's what I did for this video. I'm using products from Beatles. This video is sponsored by Beatles. I'm gonna go through and give you guys a very detailed unboxing and swatching. So I'll have timestamps linked down below or pinned in the pinned comment actually. If you wanna skip around and see something in specific, I'm making this section extremely detailed. Like I'm showing you how they swatch every single color, um, how the colors all look together. So this is the first product. These are the nail brushes. And I do actually have a discount code for, uh, for Beatles, you guys. I didn't know that in the last video, so I didn't announce it, but I feel like that's pertinent information that you should wanna know. If you're making a purchase, get that discount, okay? Everything's gonna be linked, and it's also gonna be on my Amazon shop in like an organized list. But yeah, these are the brushes. Um, there's different types of brush hairs. Some are long, some are short. They're all pretty fine though for making line art, and I think that they're really pretty. The colors are kind of like jewel tones and I like the diamond handle. Very high quality. I end up using the one I'm holding right here, this teal one. And I noticed a couple frayed hairs here. So this is how I fix that. I just clip it off with my nail clipper. Pretty, so cute. All right, so let's get into the long coffin full cover nails. This is another one of their like nail kits. So if you wanna do a gel X, you can use this nail kit and get it all done. It comes with a small mini lamp for flash carrying or whatever. And it also comes with an adhesive glue gel. The cord is really long. Um, I already have one of these unboxed on my desk, so I didn't use this, I just put it back. This is the gel set called Cozy Campfire. I love how it comes in this tray, something that you can like keep and display. It also came with a matte top coat, a glossy top coat, and a foundation gel. So I'm swatching every single color from this. This is a 20 piece set. And the colors are really great, especially for autumn and fall.
oh look at this color this color is beautiful right these are all the shades from cozy campfire beautiful beautiful spread i like to have dark reds and neon red to the straight to the So this is the other kit, a 32 piece color set. This is a full blown kit. Once again, this one has a foundation base, a matte top coat, a glossy top coat, and these are all the tools you get. A dotting tool with a brush, some um, gold leaf, toe separators, 100, 180 hand file, some very sharp, very nice nail art tweezers, cuticle nippers with the protector on it. Very sharp, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Can someone tell me what that is? I was so confused. We have a buffing block cuticle pusher and a little dust brush you guys saw me pull out the lamp this is the cord for the lamp and they also had um, this nail clipper it also came with a cuticle oil which was like wow to me a builder gel and a blooming gel that's a lot of stuff right I loved this there are so many colors in here. They did a really good job. Actually, I believe for my set today, I used colors strictly from this kit.
these are all the shades. I'm gonna stop putting my um, swatches on this little sticky paper because it does not, mm -mm. it's so shaky because my hands are shaking. It's just like, mm -hmm. but those are the shades. I hope you can see well. Look at all the glitter, love. They did so good with this. Cause sometimes with some kits, they put too much of like one color. They'll have like 50 different reds and I'm like, why? Okay, this is the last thing. We have some liners. Now, when I started swatching these, it was sad because like everything was not in frame. So I kind of just skipped through the swatching of this. I'm sorry. But a lot of what I was doing was like blurry. So I just said, you know what? I value your time, so I'm not gonna make you watch all that blurriness. So this is the one swatch that actually wasn't blurry. We have like a glittery, these are like autumn, co autumn color liners. So we have like a glittery gold heart here. We have a white, we have a chocolate brown. I did the cross with a chocolate brown. We have two different, like we have three different oranges here. So if you like those, those will be linked too. Now let's get into my design, shall we? So I, I sized out the coffin nails. I already did one hand off camera. We're back in real time speed. <laughs> this is the pink, uh, shimmery pink that we use, or that we just swatched from the 32 piece set. I'm putting that on three different nails. Then I'm gonna put gray on one of these accent nails and then a pearly white on one of these accent nails. And once again, all three of these colors are from that 32 piece set. So these stickers I got on Amazon, I'll have them linked and I'm gonna use these to create a cutout shape. Hey desire, burning like a fire. What you gonna do when it crumbles down? Watch it get higher, down to the water. So I went ahead and I grabbed Miss Sponge and we're gonna use the black from the 32 piece uh, set and we're gonna sponge on top of these stars because I love the little star cutout trends I'm seeing. I'm seeing it everywhere. Everywhere I look on Instagram, stars, 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 stars. I'm also gonna use these stars for makeup. They have a very light stick. It's not like a crazy sticker that's hard to get off. It's very, very light. So it worked perfectly for this. Halloween spooky grunge is what I'm trying to do. So, I'm putting the majority of the product like in the center and then buffing it out with the sponge. You can use a cosmetic sponge too. If you have like um, those little triangle sponges. All right, so we're gonna cure Miss Thing. And now we're gonna do a Bloomin' gel design.
got your heart set, I don't wanna jump half hearted. Gotta get your feet wet, gotta give what you get. I don't wanna finish where we started. Like the river flowing, tell me where we're going. Take me to a place that's brand new. I'm putting on a matte top coat. All right, so I'm also gonna put the matte on top of our Bloomin' Gel. So there's a lot of matte that I put throughout this design because I like the juxtaposition of matte and shiny together. I'm also gonna like Clean up the free edge. You can really do this at the beginning of the design before you start painting, but I did it. So to complete this specific nail, I'm gonna put two little purple stars charms. I had no idea what to do with this one. I was like drawing a blank completely. So I just figured, okay, just do this. It seemed like enough for me. So what are we doing here? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna use this spider web gel to decorate this pink nail. And this is literally, you guys, my like first or second time using it. I've probably swatched it a couple times, but I never actually used it in a set before. So yeah, I'm not a professional with spider gel. This is like, this is me kind of learning as I go. I'm using the tweezers because it just felt natural. So spider gel has like this very um, stringy effect and it's supposed to look like a cobweb. She galvanized me, steady like steel, back on my feet, living for the thrill again, loving for another day. She satisfied me, gave me what I want, just what we I realized like way, way, way after the fact when I was editing, I was like, I should have flash cured between stripes to keep them small because they kind of start flowing. So you probably want to flash cure in between so I got this from AliExpress. It's like a kind of like a decor gel, 3D art gel. And I'm using it to make some slime drips on this nail. I wish it was a little more green, but I love the um, dimension and it was so easy to use. So I'm gonna cure that. I'm gonna paint on a very rough French nail. And this is my thumb. I do it on my pinky as well. I just don't show it because it's the exact same thing. But we're just painting that on. I do come back and do a second layer off camera to make it fully purple. Yeah, she asked for something beautiful. I'm drawing some Frankenstein stitches. I did a very poor job at this. I'm not really a hand paint girly at all. So it ends up looking good by the end because I put a I put like a charm right there in the middle and it kind of hides that super big stitch I made. But yeah, 
we're gonna do like a matte shiny effect on here that's gonna help everything kind of like stand out even more we're gonna put a matte top coat over the whole nail and cure go in with my with the same brush and we're gonna bring the shine back to the glittery nail bed and to the stitches That is that design done. I love the matte. Oh my God, it looks so good. So now that all of our nails are basically done, we're gonna just put some charms to complete the look. I got these My Melody charms. Actually, all of these are from AliExpress, so I'll have them linked. But I thought it was cute because of the color, the purple heart she's holding. And I like that these charms are matte. It gives it this acrylic appearance that I live for. I love matte charms. I'm gonna put a matte top coat on top of this black Hello Kitty head because it looked grungy and I want all my charms to be matte because it just goes. This is the final result. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for the suggestions. If you have any other suggestions for nails you want to see during this series, I'm gonna be doing spooky nails until Halloween. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Make sure to check out the giveaway information and enter the giveaway. Thank you so much to Beatles for sending me these products. I absolutely loved everything. They're amazing. And check my code, check my link. I love you guys. Subscribe if you are new. Have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. See you in the next one. Love you so much. Bye.